hi guys welcome to my channel if this is your first time watching I'm Erin um, at the start of this year I set myself a reading challenge and I picked a bunch of books many of which were already in my collection that I hadn't read yet or that I wanted to read again and I thought as part of sharing my uh, reading challenge on my blog I thought that it would be interesting to actually do a bookshelf tour I've been watching heaps of book related content including bookshelf tours on YouTube lately and I thought it would be an interesting thing to include like I said. Um, I actually have filmed this, had filmed this already and then I decided to uh, change up the way I styled my um, bookshelves so I thought I may as well actually just film it again. Um, because I hadn't got around to editing it. So I'm um, going to stop rambling now and get into actually showing you what's on my bookshelves. Um, I'm going to actually be doing this handheld. So I apologize in advance if it's a bit shaky. But my room is quite small and I'm doing this by myself. So um, bear with me. Um, so let's get into it, shall we? So I'm going to start off here with this uh, bookshelf, the one closest to my window, and go from there. So on the top shelf, I've just got a bunch of decorative items, including a uh, vase thing with a candle and some crystals in there. At the back, I have a... Uh, old DIY Halloween decoration that I made years ago that I just really like the aesthetic of so um, I decided to put that back there. Next to that is a uh, my Christmas wreath but um, it's kind of like not too Christmassy so um, I've put that there so that I can see it all year round. In front of that is a headband um, that I bought from a UK artist um, years ago. I think the uh, I think the brand is Curiology, but I'm not sure. I will link that in the description box. But I don't think they make them anymore. It was a long time ago. Um, in front of that, I have crystals, including this one, which I'll put back in there. Um, I recently bought those and I just love the aesthetic of crystals and I'd love to know more about them but yeah in front of that I just got a bunch of bra crystal bracelets and a ne necklace here this is another Halloween decoration that um, well it's, it's not but last year I used, bought it at, for Halloween um, it's just a vintage glass uh, decanter and I just, yeah, I love the colour and the aesthetics of it. So next to that, this is my, um, is a frame with a bunch of my nature photography pictures in it. If you didn't know, I actually have an Instagram that is completely dedicated to these types of photos. So I created, um, I wanted a, um, way of showcasing them in my bedroom so I um yeah created this frame and this uh art thing with it um and I will hopefully have a video sh at some point showing how I did that so yeah in front of it um I have a fake plant unfortunately my room does not get a lot of light so I can't have real plants in here um so I just have to make do with those um, on the first shelf down, this is what it looks like. Um, so I restyled this whole thing the other day and that's, so I decided to redo this video and yeah, so this is what it currently looks like and I think I like it better than before. So this is like my Harry Potter corner. Um, so I've got my uh, Harry Potter books back there and they're recent I only bought them this year last year I read all of the Harry Potter books and the Fantastic Beast ones and whatever um but I read the ones that we grew up with so they actually belong to my mum so yeah this I just thought it was about time that I bought my own set so I haven't actually read these ones in particular yet 
but on top I have the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child um, mug. Um, my sister and mum actually went to see that last year. I didn't go. Um, but they bought me back a couple of things. So, yeah. So, in front I have this uh, stag head, which I've had for a while and I used to have in my beauty room. But I thought it just kind of really went with the uh, Harry Potter theme over here. So, in front I have a couple of more of those DIY Halloween decorations that I made years ago. And... I just thought that they would go perfect there with the Harry Potter corner and this is just a little um, like necklace pendant that has gold in it so yeah um, next I have as you can see I have a bunch of beanie bears on here. Um, I'm actually a huge Wizard of Oz fan like I have been since I was little so I um, when I was a teenager I bought a bunch of uh, Wizard of Oz related things like dolls and beanie bears and stuff like that so um, I finally have a place to put them. For years they were just sitting in my cupboard because I didn't have the space to put them so I'm glad now that with this setup that I actually do. So I'll move these guys out of the way so I can show you what's behind them. So behind them, um, I have the Divergent series. I've read the three original ones, but I haven't read this one yet. I'm sure I'll get around to it eventually. On top, I've got the Hunger Gang, <laughs> the Hunger Games Mockingjay, which I'm currently reading right now. I'm about to start it. Um, Next to that I have the His Dark Materials books um, including the newer series, The Book of Dust. I've got the first one, I've got to get the rest, the uh, second one and the couple of spin-offs of His Dark Materials as well but um, I'm sure that'll happen eventually. On top of that I have the one of the candle, glass house candles from uh, Halloween last year. Um, I just love the uh, decorations on them. They're just, yeah. And oops, <laughs> and the smell, the scent of this one is really nice. I think it's like a um, pumpkin pie scent. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so next to that, I have the uh, Hunger Games series, and then I have the Never Ending Story which um, is another uh, movie that I grew up with that I love, but I haven't read the book yet, even though I've had it for years. So I'm sure I'll get around to that eventually. On the next one down, this uh, shelf here uh, is pretty much uh, completely Cassandra Clare. So um, last year and the start of this year, I read um, the... Uh, original Mortal Instruments ones and I had collected two of the uh, Dark Artifices but I just recently got the um, Infernal Devices ones and the uh, last book in the Dark Artifices and the new um, one from her so I've still got to read those. Um, the uh, Dark Artifices and the Infernal Devices are on my reading list this year. So I'll just give you an overview of the whole shelf again. Um, so over here I have another one of my DIY Halloween decorations. Um, and I have a Himalayan salt lamp behind that which I just I really like. It's just gives off this nice glow and sometimes when I'm in here reading and um, or watching TV at night time I'll put that on because it's just very soothing. In front of that I have this little um, decorative jug thing that I've had forever that I bought from a second hand shop. In front of that is a bookmark that my sister made. Um, she has her own little business where she makes uh, macrame wall decorations and bookmarks and all sorts of stuff and she's given me a couple so I love using them as bookmarks. Um, in front of that or oh, next to that I should say I have a uh, like vintage candle holder. 
I just love the, uh, I've always really been into vintage stuff and especially like stuff like this. So I thought this would just really go well with this uh, shelf. Um, on top of, like you can see I've tried to stack things and, um, you know, show case covers and stuff like that. I just was really inspired by people's um, styling bookshelves that I've seen on Pinterest and Instagram and stuff. So I wanted to revamp how I um, was storing things. So I've got the later, the uh, last Dark Artifices book um, cover showcase because I just, I really love the covers of these ones. Um, and then I've just stacked these and I feel like with certain books too it gives you a bit more room on the shelf if you stack them like that as well as like looking nice. Um, on top of that I have a like glass globe thing that is actually my mum's and I just happened to you know borrow it. Um, I just again I love that kind of aesthetic it's almost like a, a crystal ball kind of thing so yeah. Um, in front of that, I actually have the Tin Man. So this is one of my dolls that I was talking about. And I didn't want him on the shelf, but I couldn't fit him anywhere else. And so I, I just popped him there. Um, on the bottom shelf here, um, I've got a few new books and um, a few that I've had for a while. So um, over, over here... I have my uh, uh, Scarecrow um, doll, which I'll just take him down so that I can show you what's on the shelf. And um, I, on the left here, I have the Ink Spell books, which um, I read a long time ago, and I would love to reread these because I remember loving them. Um, next, I have some newer books, which are by Sarah J. Mass, and um, I've had her books on my list for a while, and I recently purchased them so that I could include them in my reading challenge this year. Um, also, with everything going on, I feel like reading is going to be a good way for me to kind of... Uh, deal with uh, self-isolation so um, not that I usually go out a whole lot anyway but so it's not going to be too different for me but yeah I uh, just I think it will be good for my anxiety and just taking me away from the world for a little bit while I'm reading so yeah um, so here I have the A Court of Thorns and Roses um, books. So there's four there. There's the um, three originals and the um, small novella. Um, next I have the Throne of Glass series. So I've got um, all eight books or whatever. Yeah, eight. Sorry, I was just counting. Um, above that I have the Name of the Wind. Um, which I love the cover of and yeah so um, I'd love to read the first one. I know there's other books in this series but I want to read the first one before getting the others. Um, usually I will buy a whole series but for that one I wasn't quite sure so I, I thought I'll just buy the first one. So next to that I have the um, Book of Lies series which I, I'm not sure if there's more than two of this. I that I'm sure that there is but I've only got the original uh, I've only got the first two I, I should say and um yeah I think I have read these but I can't remember it must have been a long time ago so I'd love to reread them at some point um over this side I've got my uh cowardly lion doll just sitting there um and behind him I have the fallen series by Laura Lauren Kate um I picked up most of these books uh, secondhand, which was really cool. 
and when I do get a chance to go to secondhand shops um, I do like to check out their book section so when we can get back to uh, you know getting out after all this uh, you know after we don't have to self-isolate anymore then you should definitely consider checking out your local secondhand shops book section because you never know what you can find there for um, only a few dollars so yeah anyway moving on now this last shelf might be a bit hard to show you but I'll try my best um so just here I have a um like fake uh, deer skull which I bought a while ago with the intention to put on my bedroom wall but I'm um, not quite sure what I want to put there yet so she will go somewhere eventually. Um, in this basket I have my DVDs so um, I, when uh, getting my new bookshelves um, I thought this would be a good way of storing my DVDs so that um, like I don't have to find extra room on the shelves and it's a nice way to more feature my books than um, DVDs so yeah um, next to that I just have a bunch of random books so on to the next section of my shelf so this is a smaller um, bookshelf that I have in the center on the top I keep like my DVD player and everything um, I have a um, vase back there which my sister decorated and I've just put some nice uh, fake flowers in there. In front I have another one of the uh, 2019 Halloween candles by Glass House. Um, then on this side I have a couple more fake plants because like I said it's a bit hard to have real ones in my room when it, I don't get a, a lot of light. So, um, down here I get, have some more baskets. These top ones have DVDs in them and the bottom ones have my PlayStation and games. In between here I just have a few random books. The, um, some of the John Green ones which are also on my reading list this year and The Art of Self-Kindness by Rebecca Ray which I desperately need to read because let's face it I'm not the kindest person to myself even though um I should be if that makes sense um so yeah that's one of my books too that I want to get through this year and so this is my last shelf I know that it'll be really hard to actually to um have books on the top shelf without having bookends and stuff so um, that's why I left, decided to use these for decorative items. So on top here I have a candle that was given to me by one of my sisters a couple of years ago for Christmas. Um, I have another fake plant back, to, back there and another one of my picture frames that feature some of my uh, nature photography pictures. In front I have some uh, metal keys that I thought actually would be, as well as looking nice as a decorative, decorative item, um, I bought them as a prop but I still have yet to use them as one. Um, on top there I have my um, childhood uh, piggy bank, I guess you could say, money box which was actually my mum's and then I used it as a kid but it has a lot of sentimental, um, you know, I'm very sentimentally attached to it I guess you could say. Um, under that is actually a jewellery box that was made for me um, by a family friend and um, yeah I just, I don't always use it as one but I just like to have it displayed. Um, next to that I have a like mannequin thing that um, I made like painted and decorated and whatever um, when I used to be heavily, heavily into scrapbooking so um, next to that I have another one of those DIY Halloween decorations so the bottles and stuff that I bought for that I think I mostly bought secondhand from secondhand shops I feel like they have 
some of the coolest like um, bottles and decanters and stuff like that so yeah so um, next down um, on the shelf I have a bit more like the books are a bit more like I guess crime mystery kind of thing I don't have a lot of books like that but I decide to keep them on a shelf together um, on this side I have some decorative stuff back there I have my Ghibli Onf pin collection uh, banner that I got in one of their mystery boxes last year um, so I have I don't have all my pins on here um, a bunch of them are actually on a jacket so these are just ones that I, da I don't currently um, have on a jacket so I've got a um, labyrinth patch there which I haven't decided where to put what jacket to put it on yet so it's just um, displayed there and then I have a couple of badges from uh, the Harry Potter Cursed Child um, play thing and as well as a, a, bun a couple of um, Jubilee Oomph uh, badges and a Guns N' Roses one as well. Um, in front of that I have a frame and this the print in the frame came from in the uh, mystery box from Jubilee Oomph last year. On top I just have a uh, spiked headband and then I have a necklace with the uh, um, Mockingjay from The Hunger Games on it. I'm not sure where I got this from. I think it just came in a random package, uh, randomly with a package that uh, I bought once. So um, I thought that would be really cool to display. Ultimately, I would display it over with the book, but um, I'm not sure where to place it over there. So I put it here. In front of that, I just have a little horse thing that I think I picked up from a market one one time. Next to that I have a um, a uh, key ring from Madame Tussauds in Sydney. Um, I went uh, quite a few years ago now and that was like my little thing that I bought as a souvenir. So next to that I have some more uh, Beanie Bears and these are Alice in Wonderland ones. So. Alice in Wonderland is also one of my favourite childhood stories. Um, my younger sister was also a big Alice in Wonderland fan growing up. So um, I'll just move those out of the way so that I can show you what's behind them. So um, I have a book end here that's like a crystal and I... I have to say I'm kicking myself because I didn't buy a second one because it was they were relatively inexpensive and that I just I think it's really pretty so yeah um next to that I have my Agatha Christie collection which I think I only have eight or nine books in the uh of hers which I know they're a whole bunch um but yeah um this is these are all on my reading list this year and um I was gonna read one before I saw the Hunger Games and I'm like um I think I was just dying to read the Hunger Games so I went for that instead when I was trying to decide um I'm sure I'll get back to it eventually so I have some of them stacked front ways so that you can see one of the covers and then the others just normal um next to that I have the uh, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo series which includes the three original books and then two of the newer ones as well. So um, I've not read any of those but I hope to get to it this year at some point. If not, there's always next year. Um, on the next shelf down um, I have some more of my Wizard of Oz dolls and decorations. And um, this originally was just a Wizard of Oz shelf, but then I redecorated and I had to fit extra books on here. So I just stacked them and whatever so I could fix some extra ones and I really like the way it came out. So here, like I said, I've got my Dorothy doll and one of the Munchkins and I'll just move them out of the way. Um, I have one 
Behind that, I have one of Emily Roder's books. Um, I was a huge Emily Roder fan growing up. I read quite a few of her books, which I eventually got rid of. And I, obviously, they were quite, um, you know, young, a bit young for me now, but I wish I had read, kept them and read them again. Anyway, doesn't really matter. Next to that, I have a book called Mirror Mirror, which I pretty sure I picked that up from a secondhand store or a book sale or something like that. And um, I haven't read it yet, but I'm sure I will eventually. Speaking of books that I read when I was younger, these are a bunch that I still have that um, for some reason I just can't get rid of because I just love them so much. But um, So I've got here the Land of Elyon books and um, I always loved the pages on these. They had like that textured... Um, textured pages on the end which were, I, I really used to love because it reminded me of old books and stuff. Um, under that I have the Sister Grimm, some of their books and I don't know if there was any more than three but that's the ones that I had. Um, next to that I've got the, sorry, next to that I have the Dorothy Must Die. I have only two of the books and behind that I've just got some random books that I couldn't fit anywhere else. So I've got the uh, Tapestry and the Leaven Thumps and the Gateway to Flu book, which I bought a long time ago and still have yet to read, but I'm sure I'll get to them eventually, especially with me trying to read more. So next to that, I have the Wicked series, which Again, I bought a long time ago and I still have to get to them. Um, I've seen the stage show and loved it. So I think I bought the books after seeing that. And um, I'm sure I'll get to them eventually. They're not on my reading list this year, but who knows? I may de still decide to um, read them anyway. Next to that, I have... Well, I should say, on top of this one, I have a little Wizard of Oz Hallmark decoration. Um... And it actually makes uh, music or has a song, but um, I won't show you that. And I did forget to show that this is just a little candle that my mum gave me that was given to her. Um, she doesn't really uh, burn candles a whole lot and I do, so yeah. Anyway, back to this section. Um, behind this uh, gym shore, um, uh doll uh decoration thing um i have some of the original uh wizard world stories uh this one here has two in it then we've got a bunch of others and i've read a couple of them and i would ultimately like to get all of them at some point so yeah um we'll go on to the next shelf on the next shelf down, I have a whole lot of different stuff. So over here, I have more classic, but it's like, um, I mean, you've got the Brothers Grimm there, but you've also got a lot of like sci-fi horror kind of uh, classic novels. So um, I haven't read m pretty much any of them, but uh, it's on the agenda eventually <laughs> to read them. Um, in front of my cl more classic sec select uh, my more cl classic section i have the wicked witch um doll and i think she's actually quite fitting for that section actually um on top of my stack of books here um which include like jules verne bram stroke Bram Stoker, um, like uh, Sherlock Holmes and some H.G. Wells and whatever. Um, I've got just this little fake plant thing. Um, I'd like to hang that somewhere, but I'm not quite sure where, so I will um, just put it there for now. 
Next to that I have a bunch of like more uh, sci-fi kind of um, and uh, like I guess uh, more post-apocalyptic kind of books and whatever. Um, in front of that I have my Glinda doll and I'll move her out of the way so that I can show you what else is on here. So here I've got the uh, Maze Runner books and I've read the original three and on my list, reading list this year, I want to read the last two. But I did actually, I think, start reading the prequel and it was quite full on. So um, I'm sure I'll get there eventually. But um, yeah, I would like to finish them. Um, next to that, I have the Fifth Wave series. And um, I've had those for, I think I bought them last year and I haven't got to them yet, but I would like to read them this year. Um, next to them, I have the 100 series and I wanted to read these after loving the TV series and it was interesting to learn that they're actually almost completely different. Um, there are some characters in the 100 that are also in the TV series, but um, there are also some characters that aren't in the series at all, and the story does differ quite a bit. But in saying that, the books are actually really good. Um, yeah, I actually wish there was more of them because I liked them that much. Um, next to that, I actually have, this is a series called The P Partials or Particles or something, I can't remember, by um, an author called Dan Wells. And these are the second and third books. I actually had trouble finding the first book on in actual print. So um, I ha actually read that on uh, my Kindle. Um, this one, Fragments, I actually picked up secondhand because I thought it sounded really interesting when I was scouring through some books in a secondhand shop and then I tried to track down the uh, other books. But this is a series that I don't think a lot of people know about and it's actually really good. Um, so yeah, um, if you like kind of sci-fi or like post-apocalyptic kind of things then you might actually really like that series. So I recommend checking it out. Um, next, to, down from that, I have another one of those baskets with DVDs in it. And I have just a bunch of more like classic books down here that didn't fit on the other shelf. So yeah. So that is the end of my bookshelf tour. Well, that was my bookshelf tour. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I hope before you go that you consider giving this video a like or subscribing to my channel. If you're looking for extra content, then you can always check out my blog. The link will be in the description box below. Until next time, I hope you guys have a nice day. Bye.